Hey, hi, this Angel again. Uh, this is the tool, it's, it's uh, cobalt. And if you cannot uh, slide the two bits in, you're gonna grind it with the disc or something over here, just to go to easy. Reduce, to reduce the... Yeah, to reduce the thing, the diameter. And it's a right-handed sharpened one. Also, I have the other one, which is right-handed, you see? And I'm gonna show you now how to put it. It's the same way, the, the principle is the same. The principle is the same. Uh, you just put it over here. Where are you? I don't see you. Ah, oh, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. You put it over here. You bring it in the hole. You push it against the wall of the bore. You lock it a little bit to stay in the position. And you pull it out. You also could put this uh, cutting tool positioner. And before that, I want you to mark it where the, the hole is on which side, because you're gonna be confused to reach it the small hole over here to lock it. Mark it with zero to be easy to find it As a later. beginning, you mean? Huh? Yes. A, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> you could, even you could use it now, it's depend, whatever you wanna do. You could use it from the other side and push it with it or, yeah. It doesn't matter, you have it. You okay. could use it. And also you could mark it like I mark it now, just for reference. Yep. And again, you could get the caliber. Let me see, the caliber. And you go next to the two bits, like this. Okay. And you push it against it to go let me see. I, I see. Yeah. Okay. Like this. And you put it on zero now, let's say. Okay. And in order for me, this one to go this way, I got to push it this one like, uh, let's say, I'll push it 25,000. And you see, I have this clearance over here. Uh, the, the tube is gotta go like another 25,000 up. And I'm gonna push it with the, oops, oops I pushed see. too much. <laughs> <laughs> gravity is always gravity. Always wins. Oh, I see what you're doing. Okay. I press oh. it like this. Let me lock it now. And I see over there, for you, it's gonna be easy from this side because you have the power fit very close to the side. There's no room, yeah. It's, you're gonna have more room to operate from between the two year which you're gonna machine it. Okay. Yeah, that, it's... That's it, Angel? No, hold it. No? Let okay. me show it. And also, I'm gonna show it to him. He could use this kind of oil. oil. It's a cutting oil. Okay. And it's a uh, free hazardous. Uh, you see it over here. It's Physical. very, very good oil for cutting. Hazards zero. Okay. okay. Let me show you now what I'm going to I should move. Again. To reach it, the uh, place where you're gonna cut it, you're gonna hear the noise of the machine. <laughs> you're gonna change it. Okay. 
show you how to level it the two bits first you put the two bits inside in the inside in the things in the hole in the square hole once you put it in you push it in inside of the hole you bring it the two bits and touching the surface whatever surface is it and you lock it, you lock it. You use this kind of uh, Allen wrenches with the ball because the ball, it's easy to go on a side crooked little bit. You know, you tighten it little bit and then you take it out. You could use a marker to mark it from both sides and let's say you get your caliber and you measure it what is the distance over here whatever the distance you go inside even doesn't matter and you lock it on a spot and you put zero on the caliber let's say you level it to zero and you want to push it whatever you want to push it let's say 10,000. You loosen it, this one over here. And this one you, is gonna go 10,000 the other way to go in. Or let's say, ah, this is rough, like let's say 30,000. I put 30,000, lock it this one, and with the caliber, I push it this one over here like this. And I know now it's around 30,000 because it's not uh, precise. If you wanted precision, you could put the cutting tool positioner or, and you could use the cutting tool positioner for it. Yeah, and this is left-handed. This tool from this side, I'm gonna show you how it's gonna be from the other side. When you go on the other side and you go this way, pulling, you could put right tools with right-handed right tools. Let me show you now. Okay. Oof. It's tight over here. I'm using this here. First, you go by hand. Don't go directly on the, the power tool. Go by hand. See it a little bit. You go back up, back out, and then you're gonna. Before that, you gotta engage the power switch, whatever switch you need it to be moving left or right, and you go switch it on it, and that's how it is. You see it now, how it's cutting. And you also could put, see, I put some cutting oil against it. And it, if, if it's welded over here, it's gonna help the tool to survive. Okay. 
That's it. Okay. This is from this side. And this is 